Ross Hansel with Comprehensive Building Consultants. Today we're going to talk about how a ground bus bar is improperly wired. With electrical panels, a lot of the information can be found right on the legends and data plates on the electrical panel, such as right here. And hopefully you can see that. And it is that you are allowed to install two, let's see if we can get in zoom enough, two 14s, two number 12s, two number 10s, or one and one, one and one, as you can see here, it goes right down the list. Well, that's telling you what you can put in the grounding bus bar. Well, as we look over here at the grounding bus bar, we have two, two, all of a sudden we have three, two, three, and three. So now these neutral or these grounding bus bars and these ground wires are installed improperly. What has to happen is that screw needs to be loosened up by a, the proper tradesman, a ground wire needs to be removed, and then you can put it in one of these open orifices here. So once again, that's what we're talking about, the, uh, the ground bus bar where grounding wire is installed improperly. This is Russ Hansel with Comprehensive Building Consultants. Have a great day.